Welcome to the Math 1 lesson summary video for the task Growing Growing Dots. So in your module, you'll notice this is a develop understanding task. So once again, the purpose of this task is to develop multiple ways to represent a geometric sequence, specifically using explicit and recursive notations for a function. So in the last task, we developed ways to represent an arithmetic sequence so now we're doing the same thing for a geometric sequence. But again, it's a develop understanding task. So the purpose is not to become masters of these representations, but just to develop our understanding of them to get that ball rolling um, as we will continue to practice in later tasks. So the scenario is this. Again, we have dots, a series of dots and images representing those dots growing. Uh, but the way they're growing is a little different. So we have at the beginning three dots, then at one minute we have six dots, and then at two minutes we have 12 dots. So let's record this information on our table. So at the beginning we had three dots, then six, then 12, and then we have 24 dots. I can see that quickly because it's eight groups of three. And then here we have groups of 16 and there's three of them. So that's 48 dots. So the task asks different questions. Instead of asking us five minutes and then a hundred minutes, it asks us just for five minutes. And I don't really want to draw a picture to represent what this is gonna look like at five minutes. I just wanna figure it out mathematically. And that's just a personal preference because I don't feel like drawing however many dots it's gonna be because it's gonna be a fairly large amount. So let's just look numerically at the pattern. What do you notice is happening to get from one number to the next this time in this sequence? If you said multiplying by two, you are correct. So we have times two, times two, times two, times two. Two times two is six, six times two is 12, 12 times two is 24, 24 times two is 48. So we have multiplication by two, and that's what makes this a geometric sequence. In the last task we saw an arithmetic sequence, it adds a constant difference every time, or subtracts, coincidentally. A geometric sequence, it is always multiplying by a constant ratio, um, and dividing is the same thing as multiplying by a fraction, so it could be division as well. But in this case, it's multiplication by two. So if we take that idea, then we can see 48 times two, at five minutes, we're gonna have 96 dots. And so we've answered the, the first question related to this type of thinking using a recursive strategy. So I've kind of approached it right now the same way I'm what I'm calling student one has approached it. And so student one may have represent, represented his thinking visually by showing that each time as I go from one iteration of dots to the next, as the minutes change, the whole image is doubling. So you can see the three black dots at zero minutes that form a triangle. They double with three orange dots to make two triangles, creating six dots. And then each of those three pairs doubles, as shown in purple, to then create 12 dots. And so that's recursive thinking again. We're figuring out how many dots are going to be in the next image based on the previous image. So we can write a recursive function rule or formula. So x sub n equals x sub n minus one. Remember that's just algebraic way of saying the next number, for example, the seventh number comes from the sixth number. And what do we do to the sixth number to get to the seventh number? We multiply by two, so times two. Again, we need a starting point. So our starting point in this case was three dots. So x sub zero equals three dots. That's a zero, yep. Now, I wanna show you another way of writing that exact same formula. So this is not a new formula. This is just the MVP notation of a recursive formula. You'll see it in your RSG, so I want you to see it here as well. So f of n equals f of n minus one. These correspond and these correspond. Everything else is the same. So it's times two and f of zero the first number in the list at zero minutes was three dots. So that's 
that's another way of representing the same formula. So this representation is equivalent to this representation. One is just the more North Carolina way of writing it that you might see on the EOC, and the other is the MVP way of writing it. So the other way we can think about this scenario is in a more explicit way. And so here's how a student might approach this intuitively and think about it explicitly. They'd say, okay, if I just focus on this one dot, well, this one dot doubles, and then that pair also doubles. And then I could look at this other dot. It follows the same pattern because it doubles, and then it doubles again. And then I could look at the third dot, which doubles, and then doubles again. So I have three sets of dots that are all doubling. So three sets of doubling dots would be like the tagline of that student's thinking. So how do I represent that? Well, let's put some variables on this. So um, T for time, and again, I'm gonna use uh, D for number of dots. Um, so the number of dots is equal to, well, how many sets do I have? I have three sets. And then they're doubling, which is times two. And then the question becomes, how do I represent doubling a bunch of times? Well, I have times two once from the first, from zero minutes to one minute, and then times two again to two minutes. So at two minutes, what I would have is three times two times two. Well, another way of representing two times two is two to the second power. At three minutes, I would have had three times two times two times two, or in other words, three times two to the third power. So you can kind of see that at t minutes, we are gonna have three times two to the t power. And let's just check our answer from earlier using that strategy. So 96 dots we already know, According to this formula, that would be three times two to the fifth power, because that was five minutes. Well, two to the fifth power is two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16, times two is 32. So that's three times 32, which is in fact 96. So we verified that the formula works from information that we already knew to be accurate. And so those are all the representations for this task. Again, it's a develop understanding task. So what you should notice at this point is that a geometric sequence, instead of adding in our recursive formula, we're multiplying. And in our explicit formula, instead of two times t like we previously had, we have two to the t power because repeated multiplication is represented by exponents.